You probably know Alpine Electronics for all their car stereo stuff. They make decks and amps and speakers. But recently, the company announced that it was going to jump into the headphone game, and I mean big time. These are the Alpine headphones. I'm, that's the actual name. And they're loaded with all kinds of tech. They come with a cool app, but the most interesting thing is right here. This is a bass transducer, and it's meant to shake your head with bass. Now Alpine lists off a lot of technology for these headphones, but what's important to me is what they don't offer. There's no active noise canceling, and there's no wireless streaming of music. They do have a Bluetooth chip in there, but not for wireless listening. Um, what they do offer, however, is their own amplifier built inside, so it does rely on your smartphone for power. So you'll notice as I press here, everything's nice and fluffy like a headband should be, and then I get here, and it stops. And that's because in there is a little bass transducer or bass shaker. It spins in concert with the bass in the music that you're listening to. The idea is that it's supposed to sort of give a tactile feeling to the bass, and it really does. It shakes the whole headband. You feel it all the way around the outside. But you don't feel it in your head so much. There is more of a bass presence, but it doesn't rattle your head, so your vision doesn't get distorted, um, and you don't feel a buzzing around your whole head. Alpine makes a big deal out of the Level Play app that it wants you to download and use with the headphones. Basically, it takes your playlist and organizes it in terms of energy level. So your high energy tunes are here, your low energy tunes here. This is somewhere in the middle. Uh, you click on one and it's gonna automatically start playing. And it's basically a shuffle mode of those tunes in there. I don't find that it necessarily gets the energy level right all the time. Um, it automatically starts playing to play, pause, you, you press here. It's otherwise fairly limited in functionality. Um, it actually adjusts the EQ curve according to the energy level. And I'm not sure I understand why it's trying to do that. For me, it's kind of a gimmicky thing, but uh, you know, if you're looking for a quick and dirty playlist, it certainly provides that. Now I mentioned they're not a wireless headphone, so you will need this headphone cable. Um, it's an iPhone compliant cable uh, with a microphone and a three button remote built in. And I do like the build quality on this cable. It feels really solid, and I also like that it's a cloth covered cable. And the headphones are built pretty well too. They've got swiveling ear cups. You can bend them out of shape and they're probably gonna be all right. Um, down below you'll find the power button, the headphone jack, and a USB charging port. Now I mentioned there's no active noise canceling and you should not expect a whole lot of passive noise isolation either. Um, I can hear everything just fine. Uh, but you don't leak a lot of music sound when you're playing them, so that's good. As for sound quality, they're definitely a little bass heavy and that results in some unwanted resonance down in the, the lower mids. But they're not an offensive sounding headphone, they do fine. I get what Alpine was going for here. It wanted to make a fashion forward headphone with some fancy tech inside. But that fancy tech is really more gimmick than it is practical. And at the end of the day, I kind of expect more from a $300 headphone.